Why I Stopped Watching My Little Pony by Opium for Tomas Dear Hasbro, my name is Alicia Gracia, a single mother of a ten-year-old do daughter named Jennifer Gracia, who is a huge fan of your show, The My Little Pony Show, and how it is the greatest thing on earth. I have watched a few episodes with her, and I have to admit, I have gotten hooked on it, hooked on it as well. Or, at least I used to. I don't quite see the show the same way nowadays. Ever since she started watching the show, it's watching it, she has been asking for a Rainbow Dash doll, her favorite pony by the way. I have tried to find one to buy her at the store, but so far I haven't found one, or for the matter, any My Little Pony dolls, or figures. I once asked the clerk when if ever, when if ever you will have some, but she has no idea of what I was talking about. She had never heard of it. I have also looked online on eBay and Estee, but still haven't seen any toys from your own show. A few weeks ago, my daughter Jennifer brought home a Twilight Sparkles vinyl doll figure she said she found in the playground under the swing set. It was dirty with one of its wings ripped off. Someone had colored its eyes black with a pen or marker and it, it had the strangest smile I had ever seen on a doll. It's silly and I don't know why I'm telling you this, but sometimes I feel like the doll hates me. Jennifer loves it and takes it everywhere with her. I can't imagine why she loves it so much. It's a broken toy, but it's her favorite. I tried cleaning it, but I have been unable to remove the black ink. She took it with her to a sleepover with her friend Amelia at her house a few weeks ago. I'm not sure what happened, but my daughter can't come over there anymore. I don't know everything that went on that night, and from what little I do, it has something to do with Jennifer's loaning her Twilight Sparkle doll to her friend Elisa. When she went to bed and something happened with her and the toy during the night. It's silly, I know, but the saying is, Jennifer had told me she hasn't been to school since the sleepover. Something about all she does is scream nowadays and had to be placed into a hospital. I don't understand what's all happening and I'm frightened of it. I have caught my daughter on more than a few occasions talking to it and I'm a little creeped out. Sometimes if it seems like the doll is listening and talking to her back, I'm the... I know. It's stupid for me to tell you this, but I can't shake the feeling. But that's not really what I'm wanting to write about. The reason I'm writing to you is because I don't like how your new episodes are going. They're neither good or wholesome. We started watching, and to tell you the truth, it's more than a little sick. I don't know how you can call it a children's show. And if I ever figure out the schedule to it, I will make sure my daughter never watches it again. When we first started watching it, it was on Saturday morning. Now it seems on all the time, whenever I bring her home from school, or even when she wakes up in the morning. And although the day I will find it on, I'm not sure how it they do it, but for almost a year, My Little Pony is on at all hours of the day and night. It has gotten so bad, I started to unhook the cable from the TV, and now just we just watch DVDs and shows on Netflix. What's really upsetting me is how the new episodes are going. Hasbro, I don't know what's wrong with you or your company that makes these shows, but they're downright evil. Only a twisted person would make something like this and like it. I thought it was strange that it was that it was on all the time, but I didn't mind. It all changed with this season three, episode fourteen, Flutter Pet, the one where. 
Fluttershy's pet angel gets sick and has to be put down. That was a horrible episode with... I don't like how all the other ponies laugh at Fluttershy and call her names for letting Angel get sick. They kept on until Fluttershy had a breakdown and started crying while all the other ponies gleefully ripped the poor bunny apart. I was so shocked when I watched, the e watched it with her. Even more shocked was my daughter's reaction. Just laughing and carrying on as if it was just another episode. This is the type of show you put on the air? The next episode was the season third, episode 15, Pinky Party Pinky. I remember the name of it, and that was even worse than the other one. How Pinky Pie threw a party for all her friends and they hated, all hated it? Telling her that she was a failure and her parties were terrible and no one liked her and wish she was dead? The other ponies tormented Pinky until she literally flipped out. She started biting herself, pulling out her hair while she was laughing and crying at the same time. My god, it was awful! It was so bad I turned it off and I told my daughter she wasn't allowed to watch it anymore. It was disturbing how it didn't bother my daughter at all. I talked to her about it later on and she told me that the Twilight Sparkles doll said Pinkie Pie deserved it. Her parties were stupid and no one liked her. And they all do wish she was dead. I was so stunned. I took the doll away from her after that and wanted nothing to do with this sh your show. I thought the matter was closed. I threw the doll away and I thought that was the end of it. But it wasn't. The next day, after dinner, a new episode came on as me and Jennifer watched the cartoon on Nickelodeon. i never seen the My Little Pony show on it before and just as horrible as the others called First Flight Twilight. It was an episode where Twilight is trying to learn how to fly in her, with her wings. When she couldn't get it right after the first try, the others got so mad at her they ripped off one of her wings, just like the doll my daughter had now that I think about it, and threw her off a cliff. You can see it clearly, her hit the ground. There was blood everywhere, along with the sickening sound of Twilight breaking her neck. Every other episode after that, Twilight is missing one of her wings, and her head hangs in a weird angle. I don't get you people. Are your creators mentally sick? Like I said before, as much as I tried to stop my daughter from watching the show, it comes on all the time. And, they all, and all the episodes are just mean. Are just as mean as Apple Jerk, where they set fire to Applejack's house, called names at her, and her family were trapped and burned to death. Colors of a rainbow. How they trapped Rainbow Dash in a well and filled it up with water until she laughed all the while laughing at her screams. How can you how can you call yourself a kid-friendly company when you have trash like this on? There are more episodes like this, but I don't really want to get into it. I have forbidden my daughter to, I have I have forbidden my daughter who didn't seem to have mind at all from watching your My Little Pony show anymore. She somehow got the doll back, don't ask me how, and told me I shouldn't have done that. I made Twilight angry. What? What's that mean? It's beyond me. But she is, she is my problem. As you know, this is my second letter to you about your show. I have attached a response letter to my first letter. Dear Miss Gracia, uh, we have, we thank you for your time to writing to us about this, but Hasbro has never nor will at any point have any plans for creating, we thank you for your time to write to us about this, but Hasbro has never, never 
nor will at this point in any in time have any plans for the creation of My Little Pony Show. And from what you have described in one of the episodes, I am not sure if this is some sort of joke from you or another person. Hasbro is committed to children entertainment and merchandise. We would never create a horrific show that would torment our viewers. If you give, can give us more information about this, we will look into this. Sincerely, Hasbro's Legal. This has to be your show. I have your logos on it. This has to be your show. I see your logo on it every episode. Pictures taken on my screen with the show. And your name on it have you have been attached and your name has on it have been attached to my letters to you. Wait, I can hear the show coming on in the back 